You know what's funny? As I'm sitting here thinking of an intro for this video, and all my intros are kind of the same, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. I, I don't even know why the hell I do this, to be honest. But, as I was sitting here looking at Rufus's face, it kind of made me think of myself, kind of looking at the computer for a second, like, okay, all these buttons, what do I do now? Um, that and trying to figure out why the hell I wasn't getting sound through the recording in my test, but that's probably about what I looked like just about four minutes ago. But anyways, hi guys, uh, we're back and I kind of just left it right here, we're at the little doohickey elevator thingy with sausage keys and stupid sunflower-ish things that talk, and I don't know, I... We've got to... I don't think we have to go to the fun zone anymore. Because technically the system broke and we have our 10,000 points. So I think it goes back to me trying to figure out that whole blender thing. Um, there's like other stuff to do at this point, but I'm not quite sure what. So let's recap what's in our inventory. Okay, we have cups. And a maggot. And a cartridge, which has... I don't remember what's on that cartridge. Probably some horribly hideous beast. Uh, so let's go to the cocktail bar. And let's go to the blender and let's get this done. Oh dear. I can't pour this drink into the blender as long as that alcohol-dependent little fish stares at me with his cute little chunky eyes. Hang in there, little Tuckleberry Finn. <laughs> I'll mix you a new home. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a drink for that old fart over there in the process. Okay, so. This is like the, um, I don't know, the fluid little puzzle thing. So, okay, let's think this through. First. No, stop! Tuckleberry oh, Finn come doesn't on. go in the mixer. Alright, fine. This one into the mixer. Hmm. So, him into this. Him into this, right? And then... Him into this? Nope, I did it wrong already. Ha <laughs> I knew I would have made a good bartender. I win. Except, did I miss something? I don't have to disinfect my stuff. The only bacteria on it is from my coat, and I've been immune since forever. Okay. I just feel like there was something more to that. Hmm. For a cocktail, you need at least normally a little umbrella, but I'm feeling magnanimous today. Um... Can I interact one more time? Because I thought that there was something about that. Oh, oh my god, that looks so sad. I gotta do it. <laughs> Look at the fish! Look at <laughs> hmm. There's nothing like the smell of fresh ground maggot. What the heck? Oh my god, I don't even know why that happened. Can I add that to it? I don't have to disc the only Alright, alright, alright. Something, something, something. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. <laughs> even the fish threw up. <laughs> I once and for all demand my audience. Not while there's no acceptable food being served here. And as before, there are still fish swimming in the 40 cent. Oh, wait, he needs food. That's why I had that in my brain. So that maggot had to be food related, so let's go give him a maggot sausage. I knew it, like, in some way. I was just like, yeah, that's, that's a thing. That's disgusting. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious maggot sausage. That's disgusting. All right, here. Have a drink. Here you go. A completely fish-free drink. Indeed. I always knew that personally attending to this problem would pay dividends. Yeah, right. Okay. How do we give him the maggot sausage, too? 
Here you go. Compliments of the chef. Ah, German veal sausage. And there's me thinking that our kitchen was unable to prepare this. After all, the main ingredient is a hotly guarded secret. <laughs> and if my guess is right, one to take to the grave. Okay, so... I once and for all demand my audience. I need to speak to them today. And you will receive it. At least I have a grip on the situation here at last. Hooray. Just tell me when the other two are ready. And until then, I will enjoy my food and drink served in a cozy atmosphere. Mm. Yeah, you do that. Okay, so lastly, who have we got to deal with? We've got... This fat guy up here. Can't remember, he wanted... An, oh yeah, he just wanted another massage. That's not happening. So... Oh, I got an idea. Okay, so he... Some kind of... Do you remember what was on this cartridge? I don't. Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Okay, so how do we take that and make it go upstairs? Not quite sure. Um, are there like different... I don't know. Can I hit this again? Now I gotta go up and look. Hello? What happened here? Hello? Oh, no! <laughs> okay, so the thing that I sent up, uh, apparently it did get sent up, and it murdered everyone. Funny. They're all gone. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, well, <laughs> somebody took a bite out of this one. Um, all right. So that kind of happened. Hello? Anyone home? No! Go away! Uh -huh. Oh, no. I figured as much. So this is where you're hiding. Don't leave the door open. It's going to be a bunch of old guys in a sauna, isn't it? Oh, Ow. come on. Man, it's tight in here. <laughs> and blah, so slimy. Shh, they're still outside. Slimy. Who's outside? Few <laughs> locks. They're everywhere. How could this happen? Uh, yes, that's a mystery. But before we start running around making accusations, we should concentrate on the problem. Oh, gee, so we created right. the things that are an emergency terminal end of the world. In the Council of Elders. But how will we ever get there? The route to the elevator <laughs> is much too dangerous. Nonsense. It's all clear out there. No sign of... Ah! Ah, ah, I know a way. Ah! Oh, it's you. <laughs> Do you have to sneak up like that? What are you doing, anyway? I have found a ventilation duct that runs along the length of the lift shaft. It's not an easy ascent, but still better than the only other obvious alternative. We just have to somehow get this metal grate open. All the way up to the Council of Elders? I don't know. Help is sure to arrive soon. Yeah, I'm we sure those fat guys are going to fit through that hole. Time left. Two hours in here with these guys. Okay, I'm gonna take this bracelet. Uh, Bad idea. Bracelet. Hey, do you think that's funny? Um. Water ladle? Can't get away! You. Okay. Hey, Ew. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this? Yeah, now what? I don't know, but why? If only I were a bit more slippery. 
<laughs> this is so terrible. If only I were Okay, I don't know what to do. More slippery. Um Oh, I guess I can Oh, yuck. Ugh, doesn't get any more slippery than this. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Um, well, how do, how do we go about doing this here? Oh. Stop <laughs> whining. There, the coast is clear. Well then, let's get out of here fast. <laughs> okay, so we dump the hot coals on... <laughs> um, alright, let's go. Heavens, they're everywhere. Now they've spotted Mrs. Zinkle. Quick, Mrs. Zinkle, run! No, not in there, not... So, Rufus caused Elysium to there crash out and die. Storm. By cloning the... whatever those things are. And... yeah. That was unpleasant. Where were you? You... you oh, come on. All hell's broken uh, loose! Uh, we know that already! This does not look proper. Quick! Activate the emergency terminal! Um. Can anyone remember the codes? They're on a bit of paper in the emergency code drawer. Well remembered. Well, what's the code for the code drawer? Uh. Yeah. Wait, I'll get it. I guess you could say that's my specialty. The beautiful marble frescoes! Um... We're running out of time! Wait, this isn't timed, right? Okay. Um... You are doing a good job! Um... I don't know what to do. You are doing a good job! Uh, is that like a confirmation? No. The beautiful marble frescoes! Oh, crap. Not the champagne showers! The gold leaf forest is burning! Oh. The gold leaf forest is burning! Well, right now I'm just gonna click everything until wings. something happens. The Use beautiful the marble frescoes! Apparently I'm a minigame master. A good job! Then so. I have the code. Too late! They're climbing up the walls! Quick, read it out! Okay, here we go. Alpha, Alpha, Gamma, Gamma. This code is absolute hammer. They're coming through ah, the elevator shaft! I like it. Gamma, Beta, Gamma, Beta. Abort now instead of later. It doesn't work! Because that's the abort code. The correct one is on the other side. Ah! They've got my leg! Ah! 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 <laughs> Quick! Wait, there! Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Zeta! Not so quick! Not so quick! Oh, god damn it! <laughs> For crying out loud! Oh, that's impossible! Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? A clone? The, uh... Yes, damn it! The service bots have an imaginary <laughs> disease, and I'll take the stupid helmet for cleaning, too. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Then you do that. <laughs> and step to it! Okie dokie. Uh, I'm glad everybody liked my suggestion for watching Groundhog Day, because that's pretty much what this reminds me of. And I love it. It's one of my favorite movies, because I'm weird. Okay, so do, do, do. here we go. Say ah. Uh. Oh crap! I'm being timed that was again. F sharp, you philistine. Move faster! Move faster! <laughs> Goal? Yes. Uh, who's that? Um... You must not go! Right, I've had enough. 
Who are you? Did my father send you? If so, you can let him know that I'm making my own decisions now, and him trying to spy on me is about the last straw. If he has anything to say to me, then he can kindly do that in person. The conversation is now over. God damn it, Goal. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right, well, I failed that again. Uh, so what are my options here? Hmm. Helmet interface recognized. Connecting to system. Well, Welcome, Prime Controller. The clue. New emergency bypass options have been added. To activate Elysium self-destruct, simply click on the totally cool <laughs> symbol. Your Elysium security protocol, Bluebird, wishes you a wonderful day. Um, okay. Huh, no one there. Let's call it Plan P. P as in... Only in case of emergency. Damn it. Why did I waste O on my plans for the weekend? Okay, well, I obviously messed up, and I'm not quite sure how to go about fixing this, so. Uh, get me out? Hmm. Ah! Help! Okay, cool. I was waiting for a, a reset thing in here. Okay. Blah 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 for crying out Hey Yes and Okay let's go Run Run Oh no 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 let's not mess up Don't mess up don't mess up Okay Connected Yeah we don't care yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> go? Yes, who? Oh, no. Dad, please don't go all Prime Controller on me. I told you, I'm going camping. Like hell you are. I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Uh, why should I? Because I said so. Um... I don't know which one to pick. Because otherwise I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You what? Okay, I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence as promised. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Just watch me. Alpha Alpha Shooby Dooby, this code is absolutely hammer. Oh, uh, wait, stop. Those were the abort codes. What's that you're muttering? Uh, uh, got it. Uh, alpha Beta Sha La La. Da 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 da. And done. Well done. You've activated self destruct. <laughs> nice. You've got a wonderful 30 seconds to evacuate Elysium. If I had fingers, I'd cross them. Okay, this is crazy, Dad. Thank goodness I know you won't go through with it. Come on. Uh, Turn it off. Can't be so dumb sure. Dumb. I don't see you stopping the elevator. Okay, you win. I'll wait for you down there. And now abort. Nothing easier than that. 20 seconds and counting. <laughs> alpha, beta, epsilon. No, wait. Quick. It started with the uh, alpha. I already told you that I would stay. D don't rush me. 10 seconds. <laughs> Gamma something something is absolute burner. Hammer. <laughs> You're right there. Five, four. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Three, two. And boom. No? Cletus? No. Wait, you are. Who the devil are you? Your future. But you can call me Rufus. Huh. Well, a fine future awaits me then. You nearly blew up Elysium. Not much better than what Elysians have in mind for Deponia. What? You're Deponian? Then it's true. There is life on Deponia. Hey, right, we makes saved the, the universe. Tour obsolete. Quite the opposite. Deponia is inhabited. I've just got to see it. What for? You're already talking to the creme de la creme. The rest is. Ugh. Yep, 
Exactly. Like him. Another Deponian! Seen enough? Great. We don't have a lot of time to enjoy eternity. Or to break this vicious circle. Hey, nothing is getting broken around here. I'm on Elysium with Gaul. It can stay this way forever. What are you talking about? We have got into a time loop. If we don't do anything, this day will repeat itself for all eternity. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Wow, that sounds exciting. What can we do? Uh, fun zone? No, <laughs> we have to go to Deponia. Yes. <laughs> Such an idiot. There's my chrono car. That's the source of the anomaly. A real adventure! Do I still have time to get my detective set? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Oh no! The high boat! Right, that's settled. But... And they lived happily ever after. Without ever coming even close to anything resembling the end of time. This is the first, and probably last, day of your life. Am I meant to be pleased about that? Yes, but please don't take too long. There are only 24 hours in a day. The clock is ticking. Bravo! That was probably our last chance of getting to Deponia. I thought you didn't want to interfere with the course of events. Yeah, but how can you speak of the course of events when things are not actually moving right now? It's got a point. not for you. <sighs> All right. Oh, damn it. Why are there monsters in the elevator? I don't understand that either. That was in the last loop. They shouldn't be here. Holy moly. We're going to be killed by fuel locks for eternity. <laughs> Not if I will have uh, been able to prevent it. Uh, What do I do? What are you doing? There. Are you trying to kill us? No, I wanted to leave that to the fuel locks. Come on, shut that door. I'm scared of heights. Is it greater than your fear of being torn apart by fuel locks? Well, it's great enough for me to always carry a parachute in my backpack. A parachute? Did I say oh, parachute? Oh, no. A pair of uh, shoes. Or a pair of parachute. Ah, I don't even think of it. Well. And now, hold on. No, wait. Ah! Nice. Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics. This parachute was only designed for one person. Ah! Rufus? Rufus, are you all right? Nothing is all right. You and I, we once saved Deponia. And now, damn time machine, I thought we could make everything turn out even better without my having to plunge to my death in the end. But now, everything is worse. And the best I can hope for is to restore the old version. Elysium will fall, you'll hate me, or the Fulox will rule the planet. Sounds like we've been through a lot together. <laughs> oh yeah, you could say that. Then I've got good news for you. In this timeline, I don't hate you yet. Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> I'm finding this all very exciting. Time travel, few locks, parachutes, and the day has only just begun. Well, if I think of everything that could happen tomorrow as well. But first there has to be reset, a tomorrow. That sounds like an adventure. Then wash your ears. We don't even know where we landed here. How are we supposed to make it to Kuvak by this evening? So it's a bit tight. Who cares? That's not really a good reason to cower in a hole in the ground, is it? Just look at McChronicle. He would never give up. Say what? But that's... that's... God damn it. <laughs> if there's one thing I never do, then it is... Give, give up. Who cares if Elysium is now infested with few locks? Or that we changed everything that was saving Deponia from demolition. The main thing is, I'm still alive. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Indeed. I wanted to go to Elysium? Check. I wanted to save the world? Check. Okay, it's been more saved. I, I admit it. But no one can force me to go through all that crap again. All I have to do is break this stupid time loop. Look to the future. That's the motto. Um... That's the right attitude, I think. So, which way to Kuvak? 
This almost looks kind of familiar, but not really. Like, hmm. Well, there's like some roller coaster thingy. There's guy wearing a road cone. Um, junk. You who? You there? Do you know the way to Kuvak? Who? What Kuvak? A village south of Busa Westfar. Doesn't really sound like the hub of existence. Nah, it's more like the hub of hopelessness. Whatever. It's I like the music. It's at least four days march to Busa Westfar. It would even take a whole day in a rush buggy. I don't have an entire day. Then forget it. That roller coaster is going to be how we get there. A few hours upriver. If someone gave you a lift, you might just make it. Before McChronicle leaves for Kuvak, of course. Did you hear that, Goal? There's still hope. Now we just need to find McChronicle and someone who'll lend you a boat. Hmm. Maybe you can find one at the fair over there. At the what? Oh, I think I just found McChronicle. <laughs> Is he the one on the roller coaster? <laughs> uh, well, actually, this seems like a good stopping point before we get into a whole new area to explore and mess with. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Thanks for all the comments, the likes, and just being involved. It's a whole lot of fun. So see you next time.